captured on PC. V, do solemnly swear. I, V, do solemnly swear that I shall faithfully serve the new United States of America. Some political? Faithfully serve the new United States of America. On behalf Very lush of area. Americans, I thank you for your you president. Are you going to be working for the president next? Potentially going to space. Keanu Reeves is reprising his role. So obviously Johnny's back to some degree. I'd imagine just based on like, because like a lot of, a lot of RPGs, uh, DLC, what they do is they want the DLCs to be open-ended. So like they'll take place at a point in the game where you haven't beaten the game yet, you can play them after you beat the game, air quotes, but they take place in a, in, a, in a mindset that the end of the game hasn't happened yet, so that's why Johnny would be in the, in the expansion. There was a scene of, of a space shuttle which goes along the lines of some of the leaks that came out before Cyberpunk was even, even like released, where there's a leak about how there's going to be expansion for Cyberpunk that involves V going to space. And there's like an actual, there's a space port you see in the game already that you can't get to. So I wonder if that space shuttle was like a, a, a sign that this is the expansion where you're going to be able to to, to go to space. I'm taking a guess that that, that 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 lady was potentially the president of the United States. Hit the name Phantom Liberty. So I'm curious. I, Cyberpunk's a good game. I must say I love Cyberpunk. I don't love it, but I do like it. I think it's a good game. So can't wait to show more stuff on it, more gameplay. Maybe we'll see more about it at uh, at Game Awards. Probably won't come out until next year. Only on next gen and PC. So if you're on a um, last gen console, maybe getting this, this expansion. So I was initially just going to have it be my reaction from my live stream, but um, I want to talk about actual Cyberpunk a little bit. This won't be like one of my my usual long videos. So if you're someone who doesn't like my my long form content, you can watch this. It'll be pretty short. Um, I'm I it's interesting watching how gamers react to this game. Because the game is in a way better state now than it was before, and I get it, it did launch in a bad state. But when I go on social media and I see the reaction to them announcing a new expansion that will likely be free of charge, and people are, are laughing at it and calling it a dead game, calling it the worst game ever, and it's like, there's a good chance, I had this discussion before, um, that most people who call Cyberpunk a bad game have never actually played the game. Or, you know, they, they suffered the, 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 a lot of the bugs and issues and haven't played it since those bugs were a thing. And, you know, rightfully so, I can see why, why they'll be angry. But for all these purposes, Cyberpunk is not a bad game. Cyberpunk is a, a very good game. Uh, Cyberpunk has a very good story, has a very intriguing world. And it's going to someone who doesn't like steampunk, who doesn't like Blade Runner movies, who doesn't like, you know, the, the concept of what this game is supposedly based upon. But but CD Project Red somehow captured me into this universe, this world. The, the atmosphere fits. Um, you know the character. Even though I don't like this, even though I don't like the male voice actor for V, I do like V the character um, himself as well as do I the female voice actor actor uh, of for V. Um, a lot of the characters between Jackie, Pan Am, and Judy, those are the easy ones. But you know, there's a number of characters be even beyond Johnny, like Rogue and Carrie. You know, the quests that you do with, with Johnny's friends and you know, there's so many people in this game who I can name and a lot of them are characters who you, you briefly know like um the, the Arasaka uh, daughter uh and and Nobu like there's so many people in, in the game who I can name and and that's that's a telling of good writing when there's a bunch of characters in the game who aren't the main character who are you know worth mentioning and, and good and that's that, that doesn't mention like this game's visuals you know if you're playing on on xbox series x and ps5 pc you're seeing a very good looking freaking game cyberpunk is, is a astonishingly astonishing visual game it definitely takes it takes the cake on trying to push the boundary of what the current technology can, can go for and maybe, maybe that that um that drive from c project red that um i'm trying i can't think of the word to use to like best encapsulate what i'm trying to say but the ambition that C Project had, maybe that's like why it had all the issues that it had at launch, and that's why you know it was damn near unplayable on PS4 and Series X, not Series X, Xbox One. And one of the things you notice in that in that trailer is it doesn't list PS4 and Xbox One because C Project Red themselves are basically admitting 
that this game was not meant for those two platforms and you know we are at that stage in time in gaming where you do kind of have to start leaving behind the xbox one and the ps4 you know it's not just you know to, you know a mean thing you know i know a lot of people who play on those platforms be like you know we they should have new games on those as well but you know you're hurting the developers by having to have them make on those platforms and it also hurts the games because the games can't you know be at their best because you know developers have to have to you know basically downgrade their games to be on ps ps4 and the xbox one Cyberpunk is a very good game, and they're also coming out with an Edge Runner anime for Netflix. I'm not really the biggest anime fan, but I'll check it out. Um, but also with that update, it, it, not just like I shouldn't say no update, but also with that anime, they're coming out with an update for the actual game that's going to like put in some some new you know clothing and um features and things like that with and, and as well fix some some things with the game for in in as like a celebration for Edge Runner. So I think people should be more open minded towards you know letting developers improve letting developers you know admit to their mistakes and make their games better if you're like me someone who's been playing a lot of video games especially if you're a dice fan i've been playing battlefield since you know battlefield back coming to 1942 you know battlefield 1 battlefield 4 battlefield 5 battlefield 3 you know so I've, all of those games had a rough launch but they end up being like magical games we're saying that again with battlefield 2042 2042 started to become a very good game I'm playing a lot later in my streams um you know, even with Battlefront, Battlefront 2 had its launch and then it just got so good like over time. And there's a lot, there's a lot of games that are like that. There's a lot of games out there that get so good over time. And unfortunately, that is modern gaming where they release basically every game in early access. And then a full game is basically what you get a year later. You know, we said well, even well, like New World. New World's about to have its one year anniversary. We're just now starting to see New World be an actual pretty freaking good game. So with Cyberpunk, you know, it's a pretty freaking good game right now, even before the new expansion comes out, even before this update that's gonna add some 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 you know goodies to the game for as a celebration for for Edge Runner. Right now it's a very solid game. It had like a uh I think back in January or December, it had a a a, a new growth because it was on sale on Steam and everyone just started buying it and it was also on sale on Xbox Series X and everyone was buying it and, it, and you saw this influx of positivity into the cyberpunk community of people just posting all these screenshots and, and clips and stuff just enjoying the game and it is a good game and if you are someone who you know you stop playing it because you know you didn't have a, a ps5 or a series x or a pc that can run it and you but you have those things now try it again it's a good game you know it there's a lot of stuff to do it is isn't a, a massive world in terms of all the content that's there but i do think there's something there for everyone to enjoy even someone like me who doesn't even like the, the setting, who doesn't like the core, you know, visuals of the game because I'm not really into Blade Runner, I'm not really into steampunk, you know, so it's a good game. And I just want to like throw that little that little itty bitty tangent in there with, with this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe. You'll be counting with me, boy Nubis. Follow me on Twitch, link time description box below. Stream every Monday through Thursday. I won't be streaming today though because I'll get my hair done. But I will be live again tomorrow on, on Twitch and I might do a Friday stream and Saturday stream to make up for, you know, today not streaming. Today's Wednesday, and this one video's going to come up. It's either coming up literally immediately after I'm done recording. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe. I've been Anubis. I'm out.